In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Google's advanced search features in order to find resources for your classroom related to the American Civil War. So let's say, for example, I am going to be studying or teaching about the Battle of Antietam. So in my Google search box, I'm going to type in Battle of Antietam. And I get 536,000 results. Now that's a lot of results to, to try to um, sort through and includes all my images and things like that and a random uh, assortment of of resources that are available to me but I'm not one of the things that teachers don't have is a lot of time and trying to go through 536,000 results well it's going to take a whole lot of time for you and your students so way down at the bottom of that page you see there's a, an option for advanced search so I'm going to go ahead and click on that and that brings up a separate screen now I had searched for Battle of Antietam, so it was also looking for websites that had, you know, any reference of these three words. So what I want to is I actually want to look in and have this to be my exact phrase. It's kind of like putting the same results in quotes or the same search in quotes on on the Google page. So I'm taking that and I'm going to put that in the exact word or phrase. And in addition to that, I want to say I want to search for Sharpsburg as well. So I'm going to put in S H A R P S and None of these words means that I want to take out so many, uh, or I don't want results that are related to a particular thing. So I don't want any references to um, any movies. So I can search for uh, number ranges if I want to anyway. I can search by language. I can search by a region. Uh, I can search when it was updated within the last week or year so I can get really current information. So if I'm looking for some current um, research about the Battle of Antietam. I can see if anything was done within the last year. Uh, search terms, I can refer to anywhere in the, on, the, on the page. But this site or domain, I can actually target my search to a particular website or a domain. So for example, if I wanted to, I could put in here .gov to search all of the government websites. I could put in .edu for um, for uh, institutions of higher education, I could put in you know .com and just to see what I come up with 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 .com type things. So very targeted and allows you to narrow your search results. So in this case, I'm going to put in .gov to see what I get. So I'm only going to get results that end in .gov. Now I could actually do a specific one. So I could actually add loc.gov, which is the Library of Congress's website. I can do safe search. Uh, I can set my reading level, so I only want uh, basic re results, or if you're among high school students, uh, I only want more advanced results or college students. So I can search for a file type, so I can only search for PDFs or images or uh, KMZ files for Google Earth and that sort of thing. So I could take all this other information out and search for just KMZ files related to the uh, Battle of Antietam. So that's what I'm looking for right now. I'm going to go ahead and hit Advanced Search. And now you can see I have 304 results from all of them, and all of my results are from loc.gov. So it's a really nice way for you to target and narrow your focus search. Now this is my search string up here. This is my uh, my search string. Now it's it's one of the, it's it might be difficult for you to remember this. So you can actually set this so that Google will send you the these search results for this search every day. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this, and then I'm going to go to Google Alerts, which is at alerts.google.com. I'm going to paste in my search query. So I'm just putting in my search query right there. Now, what the, it's asking me, what do I want to search? So I want to search everything. I want to search news, blogs. Right now, I'm going to search everything. And how often do I want it to search? I want it to search every day, every week, or you know, as, it, as things happen. So I'm just going to do once a day. I can set, I want all the results or only the best ones. And I put in my email address. I click Create Alert. And then every day, I get an email with the results related to this search into my inbox. So I don't have to go out and do a Google search anymore for my particular search string. So those email results come right back to me. So it's just a quick way to use the features of Google to, in order to save you time in the classroom for finding resources.
If you have questions about this video, be sure to send me an email at podcast at teachthecivilwar.com or you can learn more over at www.teachthecivilwar.com.